Hi. Today is January 22nd. What kind of an existence is this? Getting up. doing a bunch of work all day and then doing stuff I feel like doing and then going to bed and doing that every day. What kind of existence is it to get up, go to work from nine to five, get home, go to bed, and then repeat that for the rest, for most of the rest of your life. What kind of a life is it this, to work as hard as you can for 40 years until you save up money, enough money to enjoy the rest of your life when you're retired? If you're not, if you can't enjoy your life, uh, if you can't enjoy your life when you're young, you have to wait until you're old and you can't really do as much as you were originally wanted to do. do. According to standards of the Bible, uh, point of my existence isn't to enjoy my life; it's, it's to it's to glorify God. Uh, so apparently, living a miserable life. Apparently, apparently your life isn't supposed to be miserable. It's supposed to come with trials, but and tribulations. But it's not. It's not exactly supposed to be a miserable life when you're a Christian. It's supposed to. You're supposed to like. Serve, serve the Lord like joyfully, or something. I don't know. You're supposed to rejoice. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible. I. That's what kind of a life is it? Why is everyone in the world, or at least most of the people, have to live such a miserable existence? as they currently do or do they because what percentage of the people in polls report that they're they're, that they're happy in life well pretty a pretty large percent if you think about it because <clears throat> I mean there's never it's not like the majority of people say they're it's not, it's not like 80% of people say, oh, I hate my life, and 20% say, oh, I'm, I'm really happy. It's not that way at all. Like, I'm not sure the exact percentages, but like, I don't know, 50%, 60%, even if it was 40% of the people who said their, their life was happy, that's, that's like, that's, um, two, uh, that's like two out of every five people, and that's a lot of people. That say they're happy, even if they're, even if they have to work all for the majority of their their time. So what makes them happy? Why are they happy? I'm not happy, and all I do is sit around on my computer all day. Now, I, have, I do have to do school work, but I barely, I really do not do that much. I do around maybe four hours every day of school work. 
even when I'm even even just doing all that stuff makes me I'm like miserable. Normal people have to go to school for eight hours a day and then come home and do homework for another few hours. That's pretty much one of the reasons why I gave up school. What kind of system is it that forces you to go to school for seven hours, come home exhausted after all that work, just to keep another bunch of homework on top of you? And to do that five days a week, there's just that. If that's how the system is right now, that's is. I think there's something wrong with that. Not only is that the case, but after after people graduate from school. How much of the stuff that they learned in school do they remember? Almost none of it. You don't remember most of the things you learned in school. I don't know anything about physics now. I, I can't remember any of it. I don't know anything about... I don't, I don't remember the math stuff I learned. Um. Like most of the history stuff I learned, I, I, I won't remember. I won't. And, and if you come away from school with almost nothing, having learned nothing, and yet you've had to do all, all of that work, then what's the point of school? What is, what is the purpose of school? It doesn't do anything. You Maybe you remember like, you remember some basic things, or like some overall um, but that's, that does make sense anyway, I'm done with today's vlog, so I'll talk to you tomorrow goodbye